It's Arc Age 101, the 2019 edition. My name is Jalan, and today we're going to do part one of the currencies and specialty currencies video. The reason why it's going to be part one is there are so many different types of currencies in Arc Age. If I tried to cover them all in one video, we'd be here for an hour. Nobody really wants that. I also am going to start with gold, and people are going to ask, Jay, gold isn't really a specialty currency. And you're right, it's not. But gold becomes the standard to which all other currencies derive their value. So if we don't at least mention gold, then we're really doing a disservice. So I'm going to say gold is used for regrading. It's used for Hiram uh, gear infusions. It's used for Aranor gear infusions. You buy stuff off the auction house with gold. You buy stuff from the merchants with gold. Gold is what makes the world go round. Now, is this video going to tell you how to make gold? No, unfortunately not. I have a video that just linked at the top above, and that is the remastered version of the Arc Age 101 on how to make gold. It's a little bit dated. I did that one prior to my departure from Arc Age the first time. However, I am working on a 2019 version of how to make gold. I'm just not there yet. So for the time being, realize all these other currencies are based on the gold standard, but I can't tell you how to make gold yet. I also want to make sure that I talk about these guys right here. I'm going to talk about Apex. And then I want to, of course, talk about the cash shop. The reason why is Apex kind of sets the market value for a lot of things. If the price of Apex is up, everything else drags to the right. When Apex falls in price, everything falls to the left. Right now, on February 20th, 2019, in North America, Apex is getting strong. It's hitting that 1500 mark again. Uh, some of the exploits, some of the dupes for Apex have been plugged and patched, which means... Apex is going to go up, we're going to see an inflation turn. What does this mean for you as a player? If you rely on Apex in order to pay for your patron, make sure you watch your days remaining and you watch that price point. You should, of course, never be waiting to the last minute to have your Apex for your next month of patron. You should have a couple of those banked in advance when the price is low. So how do you make gold? Let's talk about other specialty currencies. Let's start with Guild of Stars. Guild of Stars are pretty much the most common specialty currency. Uh, I'm not going to talk about all the ways to get Guild of Stars. I'm not going to show you all the ways. I will mention a lot of them, and this starts with your main storyline. So new players out there, you are going to accumulate Guild of Stars just by following your main storyline quest. New players, you're also going to be able to do the Nui Temple quests. Uh, this is the Lily, this is the Type Flowers, but you're going to overlevel these really quickly. I'm going to talk about those quests specifically in the leveling up section because that's when I'm going to take and I'm going to take a brand new character again and I'm going to roll through all the strategies. You do get some from the login tracker. This month's kind of light. We're only getting uh, Guild of Stars on the 8th and the 22nd login for the month. So not really a good source, but you are going to you are going to pick them up there. You're also going to get them from your daily contracts. You see right here, just using labor. Just using 200 labor got me a Guild of Star. Down here using 2,000 labor got me two Guild of Stars and some vocation badges. Every one of these is going to pay off in a Guild of Star or two. So pretty worthwhile to pretty worthwhile to try to knock these out. Also, I want to show you right here. Uh, if you do three of these quests, you'll get one Guild of Star. If you do these prime tenacious gift boxes, you can get between three and five. It's an RNG chance. Uh, we also have daily quests that you can do. Now, they don't come from the daily contracts, but for example, Enemies of the Sea Trade is a daily you can pick up. Just kill sea bugs and jellyfish. You can kill three ghost ships. You can do the vocation quests that are daily. Um, this is from gathering bundles or farming bundles or mining or from animal husbandry. These all will pop quests um, that you can do for one guild of star. Wouldn't go out of my way to do these for the one Guild of Star because, like I said, you're going to get Guild of Stars from a lot of places. Personally, right now, this um, this Blue Salt Ore quest is not worth it, in my opinion. For five gold um, and a Guild of Star and a Sharpwind Mine, uh, I don't think what I'm paying in materials balances out. But again, it's one of those you got to check it every day. We talk about the ABC, the always be checking. Um, if I was really interested, I'd have to see what the Sharpwind Mining Drill was going for. And plus five gold and a Guild of Star. And then is that worth the copper ore and the iron ore price? 
Uh, what else do we got? We got the uh, world killing world bosses, your dailies off of your advanced houses. Uh, at Abyssal, you've got killing the Kraken at the middle. He's going to drop some guild of star packs. I'm going to show you guys the uh, farmer's workstation. Um, if you type in a uh, meal, you're going to have four quests that you can do that are going to provide you a guild of star and some vocation badges. I haven't price pointed these out. I don't know if these are good to do for the gold you're going to get, the Guild of Star and the Vocation Badges, but they are an option if you have a Farmer's Workstation or you have access to one. Uh, there's also Mentoring in Dungeons and Being Mentored in Dungeons. I have confirmed these still work. So if you have an alt and you can run through Hadir's Farm real quick, um, run through Burn Castle Armor real quick, you can pick up Guild of Stars. And then finally, the um, uh, the gift from the little singing uh, Orkanita. Um, sometimes it is Guild of Stars, sometimes it's other stuff. I happen to have one. If I just pop this open real quick. Today I got 50 free labor. So it was worth it to buy for credits however many months and years ago. Get labor, Guild of Stars, all those things. Now, what's the value of Guild of Stars? Well, you can come right here to award. Click on Gilda. Now there's some things that you can do for money that help increase your gold. Remember, gold makes the world go round. And then a couple other things you're gonna want. Once you're done with needing stuff out of Guild of Stars, um, bound mining drills are very useful. Again, it's RNG. If you get the right ore and the right gems out of them, you can make quite a lot of money. Uh, it's also really good for leveling your mining proficiency. If you like rolling the dice on RNG, you can do the Rumbling Archeum Tree Saplings. These may or may not proc a uh, Thunderstruck Tree. If you check those, those are not bound. You can check those on the uh, on the auction house. And those, there's one up there for 55 gold. I would not say that's indicative of the price. Uh, probably closer to 18 to 20 is probably closer. But somebody made somebody made some good money yesterday. Always be checking. Come back in here. Uh, things I recommend. I, I highly recommend the Solar Scarecrow Farm Kit and the Full Kit Lunar Scarecrow Garden. As you can see right here, I have the garden. It's tax reduction. Doesn't cost you extra taxes. Plus, it has the um, it has the scarecrow uh, already built into it. Uh, the farm itself, the sixteen by sixteen. It's again. Um, it's one per account but it has a reduced tax rate on it and it um the tax rate doesn't go up based on other properties that you own uh pajamas if you are a patron i highly suggest getting yourself a pajama set an extra 250 labor every time you sleep uh that's not too bad if you buy the four piece set uh if you're chasing after titles there are a couple the constellation jar it's for an event it doesn't come around anymore we haven't seen it in years but it will give you a title and then the Lord of the Dance token gives you the Lord of the Dance title. So these are just other things you can spend Guild of Stars on. If you're all about the gold, how much money can you make? Be checking the auction house against all of these building designs. Um, all of the other plans that you get in here. Farm wagon designs, wheeled mortars. Don't do wheeled mortars. The, the car designs, uh, the ship designs. If you're gonna do a um, if you're gonna do a tank for yourself, get an ironclad. Spend the extra 500 guild of stars. The ironclad is better than the wheeled mortar. Or then you have the sub designs and the rampage. Quite often you can see what people are looking for. Come in here, we type rampage. Um, there are no plans up uh, at the moment, so I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily go into buying the design. I would just keep an eye out on trade to see if anybody's looking to buy one. Always make sure that you have a buyer before you invest the gold. Uh, the other one I want to talk about today is I want, to want, I want to talk about loyalty tokens. You see down here, I have 970 loyalty tokens. Uh, these are basically a bonus for patrons. If you are patron, then this little box, get out of the way, Chibi, your big fat head's in the way. Down here, this little box says patron. If you're a patron, this box will light up. Uh, every 60 minutes I can click on this box and I can get a loyalty token get three of them a day That is uh, these ones right here. You pop it now. I have 971 uh, You get five loyalty tokens just by being a patron you have to log in every day to get it It is not automatic. So if you don't log in for several days Sometimes you'll get them sometimes you won't 
Uh, it is it is a weird, goofy clock system. Uh, I always recommend, even if you don't have time to play that day, just make sure you log in and log right back out. Plus, if you have a vacation stipend or a labor stipend, you need to log in to get those to pop to your mailbox. Anyway, so what do we use loyalty tokens for? Come in here. There are two tabs for loyalty. One is loyalty limited. One is loyalty. Um, as you can see, the new mounts usually get dropped for loyalty as well. So if you don't want to roll RNG crates to get the death maw, and you have enough loyalty to buy it and its armor, uh, you can do that. Mr. Mittens is still here, uh, so he's up there. You got the Lunaris and the Celestar, they're still here. Um, so when it says limited, it's limited, but it's gonna be there for a while. Um, there's stuff that hasn't been removed for quite a long time up in here. What do I recommend you spend your loyalty on first? I recommend everybody get an auto loot power stone um, it makes all the world a difference, um, not having to run around and pick up your, your loot. Um, I have mine, uh, all set up. So I have the Violent Bloomfang, um, as my grinding Power Stone pet. And I get 10% loot drop rate, gold drop rate, and XP. And then the pet will collect all of my loot within 40 meters. That's going to set you back 600 loyalty. And then right now you can get the, um... I'm sorry, she's over here. You can get the uh, the Bloom Fang all the way on the back page at 625. If you're looking for the black Bloom Fang, she is there at 650. Um, only place that you can get them right now. Sometimes they show up in the cash shop. You can buy them outright. It's totally up to you. Yes, I know that all in all, you're talking about 1,225 loyalty. You you do it in, you do it in pieces. You you buy it piecemeal. Uh, some people will say. Um, some people will say that you can do the uh, do the stones. You can. You can do these for 200 loyalty. Make sure you're checking the prices. Uh, a lot of times these will drop out of RNG boxes, the accessory enchants, so they, they lose value. You can do the large labor pots. Uh, let's just check a large labor pot today. Um, see what they're going for. 160 gold. So that's not too bad. Um, you're you're going to augment your income. Uh you're going to be able to buy four of these in a month. Uh, if you're trying to keep accounts patron for free, this is one of the tricks to do it, especially over on EU. It's going to be one of the little things I teach in the How to Make Gold chapter. Um, you can also do the uh, Synthium Stones. Make sure you're checking the prices on those. Um, and then again, you can get Rumbling Archeum Trees from Loyalty. I wouldn't. Uh, I would save those for the uh, Loyalty uh, loyalty themselves. Now, what about Mounts? People say to me, Jay, should I get my mounts through my loyalty? No, unless you really like the death maw, the death maw is definitely a, a great mount to get. Um, it, it, absolutely the fastest water mount we've seen. So if you want a water mount, get the death maw. Uh, but beyond that, I would highly recommend getting your mounts, your older mounts, your legacy mounts through the mana storm crystals. Uh, it's going to be easy enough to do it that way. Uh, you can use the loyalty then to make gold or the fun stuff that you want. If you absolutely want something for fun, like a costume or a mount, yeah, absolutely, get that through the loyalty uh, loyalty uh, program. And the last one I'm gonna talk about today, I'm gonna talk about blue salt bonds, but I'm not gonna talk about them in this video. Uh, I feel that would be a waste of time. Just linked at the top, I did a video on blue salt bonds and tempering by viewer request. I played with the idea of splicing that footage into this video. I don't wanna do that, that, would, that to me seems disingenuous. If I splice in another video, it's like taking credit for the video twice. If you guys want to know about Blue Salt Bonds, the video is already done. And that's it for part one. I don't want this to turn into a very long series. Next up, I'm, in the next video, I'm going to talk about Vocation, Honor, Curious Badges. I've already talked about Prestige in the last video um, that I did last week, so you can check that one out. And then real quick ones, golden tokens and leadership. So there's not a lot for part two. It's just I want to try to keep this video short, clean, and concise. So that's it for today, guys. I'm going to let you guys know that I do stream three times a week, even when I'm not feeling well like today. I'm up. I'm doing the video. I will be online tonight. It's Wednesday. You guys will see this early. Uh, that is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. The times are listed there. Uh, if you need if you need help, if you've got questions, I run a Discord. The Discord link is in the description below. Or you can get me at Jalan hashtag 0001, and then I'll get you an invite. And then as always, big thanks to all of my sponsors. There is a gift card giveaway going on right now. 
Without my Patreon sponsors, without my patrons, I wouldn't be able to give away as many gift cards. So big thank you to them. And I'm going to get this in a production so I can give it out tonight. People who come to my streams or people on my Discord, they get to see the Arcade 101s a day early. That's my little thank you to being part of my community. I'll be on that, guys. Be on the lookout for part two. And I am just about done writing the class builds videos. I double backed upon request and I'm going to talk about builds. Uh, so you're going to be seeing a lot of videos hitting now uh, real quick. Probably going to be seeing about eight videos come out in the next uh, two to three weeks because uh, now I'm done writing. Make sure you guys check out the website, the Arcade 101 website. Uh, that's where I, first I got to write it for the text guide. Then I make the videos. So if you're looking for stuff, there is a link down below in the description for the uh, the Arcage 101 website. Make sure to check that out. Uh, that might actually help you before I get to cutting the video. You guys take care, and I will see you next time for part two. Hey, where are you going? We're not done yet. See these videos? This video is up here to watch. You got to go over here. Hit the chibi. Subscribe to the channel, check out the webpage, and I'll see you guys on Twitch.